Hey everyone, it's One Source, and I'm making a video tutorial today on how I make most of my Minecraft skins. I've made most of the NFL skins. Actually, I've made all of them. <laughs> but I'm going to show you how I make them today. I know that there's a software you can use or download to make the skins, but I just use a website because I find that a lot easier. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you which website I use. So just go and search Miners Need Shoes. Click on that. And I think the website's called Miner Shoes. Yeah, it is. And this is a pretty handy website. So this is just a, all you need right here. Um, so I'm going to blow this up. So that it actually tells you what part of the body that's going to be on just right here. And you can just click whatever color you want and start painting away just like that um, on most of the NFL jerseys on that I have made I there's this feature right here where it basically changes the color to a just a couple shades away from that color you orig originally chose I think it gives it more like a like a shiny look so it makes it more look like a jersey but yeah, there's that. Um, let me just show you what having a hat on would look like. Well, the hat feature-ish. I know I'm not doing that great of a job, but there's that. And when you're done, you just hit download and it saves it right to your computer. Um, so now I'm going to show you a lot of the skins I've made. I made every team in the NFL. I'm a pretty big football fan, so I actually really enjoyed making all these skins. But it didn't take too long either. Um, I'd have to say my favorite one is probably the Bengals. That one right there. Um... I use a program to get those pictures. I use a, call, a program called Minecraft Skin Viewer. And you just, what you do is right here, you can just drop the file in of the skin you made or the skin you're using. And, whoops, opened it twice. Let's go to my skins. So let's see, let's do the Broncos. Just place it right in there. And there's your Bronco skin. But then you can use this feature right over here and it'll position it for, for you or you can move it to whatever position you want. And then just right click, save image as, and there you go.